Hi everybody, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. My name is Tom Tompkins. I am the host and the founder of a Vehicle Visionary and thanks to Holmes Honda here in Shreveport, Louisiana. They have loaned me this 2019 Honda Ridgeline truck for the day and I can't wait to tell you all about it because there are some very interesting features available on this truck that I think should be on all trucks. And so we're gonna work our way through that. And a lot of people I know have said, well, is it a truck? Is it a crossover? What exactly would you call this? Well, it is a truck without a doubt. Maybe not a heavy duty, full blown off-roading truck, although it is all wheel drive. There's two ways this particular truck comes, either front wheel drive or all wheel drive, which is what this particular model is. But we're gonna talk more about what this really is and all of its specifications. Yes, it is pretty obvious that it is built on the Honda Pilot platform. There are two advantages to that. Number one, the advantages for Honda itself in the production process because it cuts down on production costs. And when Honda is able to cut down on production costs, they will pass the savings along to you. This particular model stickers for less than $40,000 and is one step under the highest trim you can buy, which stickers for about $42,000. So here on the front end of the 2019 Ridgeline, you have the hood. I like the way the overall shape of the hood and the whole front end looks. Everything looks nice and really kind of racy. It just has nice lines that flow. You have raised and lowered areas on the hood. A nice contrast, I like that. The chrome and the black on the grill. Of course, you have the headlights here. Daytime running lights, you also have right here are the blinkers and the fog lights on the other side of the blinkers here on the bottom side of the bumper. But here is where the real action takes place. It's with this Honda logo here on the front end. That's not just a logo that's just there for looks. That's actually kind of the nerve center of all of the safety features on this vehicle or what is known as Honda Sensing. And I will list on the side of the screen here all of the different features that come with that, such as lane departure warnings, lane keep assist, all of that kind of stuff. It's all built into this vehicle. And like I said, for less than $40,000, it's very economical for our day and age, but believe me, there's a whole lot more available on this vehicle than what I've just mentioned. Let's move on. And here under the hood of the Ridgeline is the 3.5 liter V6, putting out 280 horsepower, a reasonable amount of power for something of this size. It's gonna get you down the road very easily. And while this truck is not meant for serious off-roading, if you're looking for a truck that doesn't drive like a typical truck, it has a smoother ride, its turning radius is better, it's just overall a much better experience to drive. It's not big and bulky and difficult to park, but you still have enough space in the bed to be able to haul the things around that you may need to haul around. So. The 280 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 is mated to a six speed automatic transmission. The engine also has variable cylinder management, which will help you save on gas. It gets 19 miles per gallon in the city and 26 miles out on the highway. Pretty impressive for a truck. And working our way down the side of the Ridgeline, you do have the 18 inch rims. That's a combination of chrome and black, but I think that is a very nice contrast. Of course, you have passive entry on your front doors on the driver and passenger side. Some chrome trim here around the windows. You do have a nice large fuel fill door right here that you can open via the button that is just on the inside of the driver's side door, revealing the capless fuel fill. By the way, tell me what you think about the capless fuel fill on most vehicles today. Do you like it or do you not? Tell me why or why not in the comments section of the video. Okay guys, before we get too much further, let me tell you a little bit about the remote here. Very simple if you've never had one of these before, but it has lock, unlock, the button down here that says hold underneath the unlock button, that is your remote start. Very convenient and a panic button underneath that. Of course, the bed here is a 5.3 foot bed. It has a payload 
capacity of 1,468 pounds, and this truck can actually tow up to 5,000 pounds. Under the third brake light, right above the rear window is the rear sliding window. That's a power window, and I'm showing you two different switches in the interior of the truck right now. The switch on the right-hand side is for the power rear window. Let me show you a couple of my absolute favorite features on this truck. Of course, you've got the rear view camera right here, and you can open the tailgate in the conventional and common manner, but that's not the only option. There's also a handle right underneath here. If you pull on that, you can actually swing the tailgate open. I really like that a lot. The only thing I would like to see is maybe have this set up to where you can do it from either side instead of just one. That would add to the convenience that this already brings. And I would imagine that sometime in the future, you're likely to see that on the Ridgeline. Now let me open the tailgate and show you another feature that I think all trucks should have by this point. Now if you were to open the tailgate, swing it open just like it is right now, and you hadn't seen the inside of the bed of one of these ridge lines, you might wonder, what is this right here? Why is there a lock right there? Well, it's because there is also a button right here that will open up this secret compartment in the bed itself. And as you can see on your screen, it's nice and deep. And one of the coolest things about this is that you could actually fill this area with ice if you were going tailgating, literally in this case, and fill that with ice and keep your drinks nice and cold and all that kind of stuff. And you might say, well, that's great, but what happens when I want to empty that area of all the ice or the water once the ice has melted? Over here on the left-hand side, as you can see on your screen now, is a drain plug. That is so awesome. And I'm sure there's a multitude of uses. Tell me in the comments how you would use this section of the Ridgeline. Now, looking a little bit ahead of this little storage area right here is the spare tire. Looks pretty hard to get to, doesn't it? Not a big deal. Honda has done a great job of designing this. There are a couple of wing nuts on each side of the compartment where the spare tire is located, and all you're gonna do is spin those off, take them both out, and then you can literally slide the entire tray out that the spare tire is found on. And as you can see, there is a funnel and some other tools there. Everything you need for changing a tire, if you need to do so, is located right there. That is one of the greatest features I've seen. Not quite sure why this is not available on other trucks just yet. Maybe it is on some that I haven't looked at, but I'm surprised that other manufacturers haven't come up with something similar to this yet. Might in the future, we'll see. Okay guys, here is one of the greatest advantages of the Ridgeline, the ride height of the truck. You don't have to necessarily use the grab handle here, but you can if you want to, but getting into the back seat of the Ridgeline is super, super easy. You have cup holders on both doors for your passengers back here. You also have cup holders here in the center of the fold down armrest as well. A little bit of storage right there behind those two cup holders dual air conditioning vents, and just beneath that you have a couple of USB ports. Here on the 60-40 split bench seat, you can also raise the seats themselves up to reveal a storage compartment underneath. And you can lock the seats in place and increase your storage space even more with the area where you would actually put your feet in the floor here of the truck as well. Really nice, really spacious. Now let's move on to the front seat of the Ridgeline and I'll tell you all about that. Okay guys, here we are in the front seat of the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. Nice and spacious. I like the technology that's available here. And like I said, there is a moonroof right here. It's not a panoramic moonroof, but for the price of the truck, I think that's a very nice feature to have for less than $40,000. Everything is very easy to get to. You have all of your typical features you would expect to find, power locks, power windows. You also have power mirrors, but if you're looking for the adjustments for the power mirrors, they're not on the door itself. They're right here on the dashboard, just underneath the left side air conditioning vent. 
And to the right of that is the Eco Mode button if you'd like to improve your gas mileage a little bit more from what it already is. The very nice and comfortable leather wrapped steering wheel features buttons for controlling the audio volume, changing stations, answering and hanging up on phone calls, cruise control. There's a lot here. You also have a very nice dashboard. You can keep up with a lot of different features that are going on within the vehicle via the switches down here on the bottom right hand side of the steering wheel. Depending on what you want to see, you can toggle through all of that. The start stop button is located to the right hand side of the steering wheel on the dashboard. And here in the center console, you have a sliding door to reveal a nice deep console, plenty of storage room there, a 12 volt outlet, as well as another USB port, two cup holders, and the shifter to control the six speed automatic transmission. And right behind that, the little button that you see behind the shifter right there is how you get through all of the modes depending on how you want to drive your ridge line. So you have normal snow, mud, and sand. And keep in mind, this is an all-wheel drive vehicle, so you are going to rid yourself of some limitations that you would have in a conventional rear-wheel drive truck. Of course, this truck doesn't come in rear-wheel drive. It's either front-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. And moving further up on the center console, you've got a little bit of storage, another USB port, and another 12 volt. Also, your heated seat buttons right here on each side, right above that. Air conditioning controls for the dual zone climate control you have here. And before we take our little test drive that we're about to go out on, let me tell you about the infotainment screen. Okay guys, a quick little tour here of the infotainment screen. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make this long. At the top, audio on and off, home button, so no matter where you go, you can always hit home. You have the audio volume for the radio right there. You can hit the menu button that will take you back to this screen as well. Also, a back button right there, and you also have the brightness adjustment here. If you want to change the brightness of the screen, you can do that at the very bottom there as well. As far as the apps themselves, pretty easy to figure out. Navigation, there's your phone, nothing paired right now, so I can't really show you anything there. But the info tab, let's hit that one real quick. That way you can see everything there, trip, computer, voice information, and everything else that you can see right there. We'll go home again, audio, that's pretty simple. Honda Link, and then settings right here, of course, you can see everything that you can go through and set or adjust depending on what you want to do. Of course, you have cameras here, the rear camera, the lane watch camera, and all of that is defaulted to on. But let me just show you a couple of things. Of course, you have the backup camera that is mandated to be on every vehicle produced by the year 2020. I think all the car manufacturers are ahead of that, but check this out. I have turned the right side blinkers on via the turn stock on the turn signal stock on the left hand side of the steering wheel. So what that does is it shows you a blind spot camera. The only thing that I'd like to see change in this area, now I've turned on the left blinkers and you don't get the same thing. I would like to see that on both sides, but I will say that is a great home run for Honda to have that on the ridge line. I just would like to see it for the left hand side as well. Okay guys, we're out here on the road with the ridge line. My favorite part of these videos, I really enjoy test driving. And I have to say, coming from a daily driver of a full size truck, an F-150, this truck is a dream to drive. It drives well, it rides well, it handles absolutely great. And the steering wheel itself is very, very comfortable. I like the fact it's, it's really got a couple of places built into it. I don't know what you'd actually, how to describe that. It's just, it kind of comes out just a little bit, kind of raised inward on the inside of the steering wheel, I guess you could say, probably not the best description, but just the way that it fits your hands, the way your hands wrap around that area, just make the steering wheel that much more comfortable when you have your hands placed in the 10 and two o'clock positions. The acceleration is nice, like I said, 280 horsepower, and the acceleration of the Ridgeline, 0-60 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Not too bad. 
This isn't meant to be a high performance vehicle, but we're about to get out on one of the worst roads in the area where I live. And I'm gonna give you a real test of how well this truck performs. It's not meant to be a full-blown off-roading truck. In fact, the idea behind the Ridgeline and the way it's designed is for those who would like to have a truck that doesn't handle like a typical truck. It doesn't have the harsh ride quality and the tight, or the I shouldn't say tight turning radius, but lack thereof. And this truck just handles really, really well. It handles like you would expect it to as a vehicle of its size, but yet you've got the 5.3 foot bed in the rear where you can haul a lot of different things. Now the road I'm on right now, the speed limit is 65 miles an hour, so I'm gonna get up to 65. I only have the pedal about halfway down and it accelerates to 65 miles per hour very easily. I think that's pretty impressive for something of this particular size. I don't know the exact weight. I'll try to put that on the screen. I'll look that up for you so I can put that on the screen. But the truck accelerates very, very well. And when I drive my same truck on this road, you definitely notice the undulations in the road. There's no small amount of those here. I don't really even notice. I can kind of hear the sound of driving over the bumps but this truck is soaking them up so well. I don't know what the quality is like on the video. The tripod and the camera don't really soak up the bumps the same way, so it might make it seem a little bit more harsh than it really is, but trust me, the ride in the truck is really, really well done. I like the way it's designed. I like the way it drives. The steering, it's not sports car tight, but you know what, it's also responsive more so than pretty much any truck I think I've driven recently. I have to say the overall design of this truck by Honda is very, very impressive. So if you're looking for a truck that drives well, it rides really well, the handling is really good, and it has enough horsepower to easily get you wherever you want to go. This is definitely something to consider looking at. One thing that actually surprised me in my research of the Honda Ridge line is that it's been around for as long as it has. It was first made available during the 2005 model year as a 2006 model. That was a surprise to me. Now I'm probably gonna start seeing a whole bunch of these on the road now that I'm more aware of them than I have been in the past. And that will end my time with the 2019 Honda Ridgeline. I'd like to thank Holmes Honda for loaning me this truck for the day and like to thank all of you for taking the time to watch. Please be sure to subscribe to Vehicle Visionary if you haven't done so already. Share this video on your timelines on social media and I will see you next time on Vehicle Visionary.